Dad, I made you your favorite dinner. You didn't have to do that, hon. You work so hard. It's not work if you love it. I guess so, the candy store is... Dad? Dad? <gasps> Dad, 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 Dad! Do one thing for me. Don't let the shop close. The candy shop. Dad, you're not leaving. You're gonna be okay. They're here. He's up here. He's up here. He's right here. He's right here. Honey, he's up here. No, he's my dad. He has to be okay, Dad. No, Dad. Dad, what's gonna happen to your candy store? You said not to let it close, but what can I do? I'm just a teenager. I can't believe your dad left me this handy shop. Well, at least until you're 18, that is. Hank Todd. I didn't graduate high school and I was always bad at math, but now I have a candy store. <laughs> Are you okay? I can't believe I lost my dad and I have to take over his candy store, Xanthan. Well, this program's called the Daughter Says Goodbye to Dad program. And yeah. Are you okay, Maddie? Mm -hmm. Hey. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. What's wrong? My grandma recently passed and then just seeing your dad die no. reminded me of that. Sorry, it's just a hard program. Are you okay, Maddie? No, yeah, no, I'm good. Do you want it? Bell? No, 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 no. You should do the program. Matt, are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm good. Looks like in this program you need to keep your dad's store from closing, the candy store. All of us here have lost someone and we know how hard it is. Are you good? Yes, yes, yes. Go back in the program. Okay, Zamfan. So I'm gonna go in and save my dad's candy store. Where am I going, Daniel? You are going to school. <laughs> Hey Rebecca, how are you doing? I mean, I'm just trying to take it day by day. But honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen to my dad's candy store. I mean, my uncle can't even do math. I'm totally down to help out, plus I need extra cash. Well, thank you, I could really use your help. Take that one right there. We should have dad buy this and fill it with hot dogs. The dandy bros, I seriously cannot right now. I know, they're just spoiled little rich kids. So daddy got them some like pop-up experience. It's a multi-million dollar company. And they get to own it? Mm-hmm, airheads. Rebecca, I heard about your dad, I'm sorry. What happened to your dad? Oh, he croaked. Really, you're gonna say that? Yeah, 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 just tell the truth. Just ignore them. What are you guys doing later? You want to come to our ice cream event after school? Yeah, our dad's renting a whole parlor just for us. No, sorry. I have to work at my dad's candy store. So do I. Candy's lame. Ice creams are that. You want to know what's not? Just ignore them. Yeah, you're lame. We might be lame, but we're rich. Hey, let's just go get some ice cream. Those dandy bros are so full of themselves, but at least one of them's cute. <laughs> I know that things are very stressful right now, but I think that you need a distraction. I think that you need a new crush. No, I have to worry about my dad's store, and besides, everyone at our private school is lame. What if it was boys not from the private school? Okay, give me your phone. Give me your phone, look it. There's this cool new app. It links students together from our area, and then you can get to know them. You can't even see their face. And you don't have to use your real name. So you get to know them as a person, and then you can find out if they're actually a jerk or not. You can like save time. It's like a dating app. Why don't you give it a try? You could go by Sweet Tea. I feel sweet. That's yeah, true. Candy store. Maybe I'll... No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why did you bring What are they bro? doing in our candy store? Hi, what's your favorite type of candy? What do you mean, what's my favorite type of candy? I like all of them. Zim Pam, is that cute dandy brother taking photos in the background? No, he's in the front. Ow! You seem to have a lot of gumballs. Yeah, gumballs are for paying customers only. What's the profit margin on a gumball? Seriously, what are you guys doing here? I've never been in the store before. A lot of people in the neighborhood love this store. It's actually pretty cool. Well, my dad had a lot of loyal customers. Where are they now? I don't see him. If you guys aren't gonna buy anything, can you guys please leave? Because we have a lot of prep to do before Willy Wonka Day. Wait, what's Willy Wonka Day? It's a long story. Anyways, it's not happening yet, but we have to start preparing, so can you guys leave? Now we're done with our research. Hey, yeah. Oh. yeah, we're gone, we're gone. What was that about? I don't know, but can we talk about Sweet Tooth? <sighs> Come on. Candyman, huh? Yep, I've got a Sweet Tooth. Guessing you do too. Cute. Sorry, no cute comeback. I'm a newbie on this app. Whoa, I'm the lucky guy that got matched to you first? What an honor. So what's your real name, Candyman, since I can't see what you look like yet? I'll leave that a mystery for you now. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Good night, Candyman. Good night, Sweet Tooth. <sighs> I can't believe Rebecca already found a match and he's talking to her. Wait a second. Rebecca promised to set me up on 100 dates and she hasn't done that. Yes, we're going to break out. Rebecca, you owe me 100 dates. Remember you said yeah, you would set me up. So what is it who's happening? This guy what? That you're talking to on the app. I do owe you 100 dates. That will be happening, but let's talk about Candyman yeah, right let's now. Let's talk about Candyman. I'm about these dates. No, you guys need to focus in on saving the candy store, I'm not worrying about dating. You know, you're not oh. bad about finding love. Oh. Where am I going? my dad's candy store. I oh, know, you're hitting your first bump in the road in this candy what? store. What? So you're ready. What's this? 
Notice of past due rent? Uncle Todd, did you see this? It says we didn't pay rent last month. I did see that. So is this some mistake? It's not a mistake. I did not pay the rent. We don't have any money, Rebecca. We're not making any money right now. Why didn't you tell me that? I thought it would kind of work itself out, and then I remembered that Willy Nilly day or whatever. Willy Wonka day! That's I mean, it. yes, that brings in a lot of customers, but I just restocked that. Times are tough, but you and that other girl, Mary, or whatever, you guys will handle it. What? Hey! I can't lose this candy store. This is all my dad wants. Where have you been, I'm sorry, Mary? Emily, but did you hear the news? Did you hear the news? We can't pay rent and we might lose this place if we don't figure a way to make money. I might have worse news. There's this new pop-up store that's buying out mom and pop shops. And you know Joey's hair salon? Yeah. They bought it out and turned it into a candy pop-up store, and I guess it's packed. Everyone is what? talking about it. Our candy store now has competition. We're gonna lose what little business we still have left. This is a lot of bad news, but I need some good news about the app. You met someone. Who I haven't he? met anyone. I've been talking to someone. And? He goes by Candyman. Candyman, that's perfect. I know. He loves candy, and he's super sweet and genuine, not like all the other guys in school. But is he cute? I don't know. I don't even know what he looks like. I said it's just a conversation on the app. What school does he go to? I mean, we could go in disguise and check him out. Find out if he's hot or not. You Wait, know what you I mean? said disguise? Mm-hmm. This candy pop-up, you said everyone's going there, right? Yeah. Well, why don't we go there and see what they're doing right, and then we can use that here at the candy store to bring in more business. Hey, let's go now. No, we can't go like this. I have an idea. What? This looks nothing like Joey's salon used to. Uh -uh. They removed all of the chairs. How am I gonna get my hair dyed back? Rebecca, that's a wig. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, this is gonna give me so many likes. Guys, this place is awesome. Awesome? A glittery wall? This is so cool. A donut refrigerator? They have a cotton candy machine. We've never had a cotton candy machine. These are so expensive. Look at all the candy that they have on display. Oh my gosh, there's no way that our store can compete with this. They're gonna put us out of business. Someone's coming. Get, get, guy. Who's that girl? Ugh. The, the Dandy Bros? They're the ones that took over Joey's hair salon? Gross, I still don't know why we had to do a candy pop-up. The profit margins on candy are super high. Fine, you're right, it's just a cash grab. Plus, it's gonna be the best place to throw parties. Everybody at school's gonna love us. They don't even care about candy, they only care about money. Shocker. Every customer that comes in here has to buy something. If they leave without a purchase, you're fired. Okay. Don't worry, everybody loves candy. You got this. Totally got this. Plus, he's super dramatic. I am not dramatic, you're dramatic. You do a good job, you got it. <sighs> Let's go take some inspo to see if we can make our candy store better. They can't know it's us, so stay in disguise. Go. Hi, welcome to Dandy Candy Pop-Up. How can I help you? Oh, oh, buy something? Oh, we have the best chocolate bars. They're gourmet. We're actually just looking around. They have roller skates, a pink phone, a lunchbox with Disney princesses on it. How are we supposed to be able to compete with that? It's Hi, I, I thought you wanted to try our oh. taffy. We have raspberry or blue raspberry. I, I'm good. Inspo. Inspo. More inspo. What are you doing? I'm getting inspo. What? I didn't mean steal. I meant like look for it. Inspo. Actually, I'm interested in that one right there. That yellow one right over there. You know, this one's actually not for sale, but we do have a special on our chocolate. Oh, bar today. um, buy one get one free. Oh, you just have to get one. I don't. Taffy is so good. I was actually. Store. Did they buy those? No. Then you're fired. Get out of here. Oh, no. What is going so on? It's a mess. Hey, you know what? What? It's Rebecca. Rebecca? What are uh, you doing destroying our papa? That means that this is... Mary. Her wig's not coming off. It's Mary! It's my hair! What's under there? Yeah, what is it? Nothing. Nothing? Show us! I promise that there's nothing. <laughs> this is ours! Oh my god! Hey, from our candy oh, you know shop. what? You guys said candy was lame and now you do a candy pop-up? Candy's not lame when you make a lot of money from Oh, it. and speaking of that, you really got rid of Joey's hair salon? That was a family business! How could you do that? I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, oh, hey, 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 my brother! Get him out of here. We gotta go. We have a candy store to get to. Oh yeah? Your candy store's next! Oh, Just making sure there's not a scratch in the bends. Hey, sweet tooth, how was your day? Not good. My family business is being threatened by some corporate rich jerks. I'm so sorry. That must be stressful. You know, I'm actually running my own family business too. You do? Yeah, we've had some success, but it's stressful. It's not just a business. It's your family's name. Feels so good to talk to someone who understands. Maybe we can talk about this more in person. Like a first date? Yeah. How does tomorrow night sound? I'm free tomorrow. Great, I'll see you at 6 p.m. at Antonio's. But how will I know what you look like? I'll wear a ring pop, you wear one too, and we'll be able to find each other. Okay, see you tomorrow, Candyman. Good night, sweet tooth. 
I cannot believe that I'm meeting Candyman for the first time in person tomorrow. Is this a first date? This is a first date. You guys didn't think that candy experience was that cool, right? No, no, not at all. Okay, good, because I need to save my dad's candy store, and those Danny Bros, they are the worst. Tell me about it. But yeah. my candy man? Who is the candy man? I don't know, but. Guys, you're losing focus. Focus on saving the candy store. But I can go on a date. Oh, are you ready? Yeah? It's Willy Wonka Day. I can definitely save my dad's store on Willy Wonka Day. <laughs> Today has to go perfect so we can save this store. All right, Dad, I'm gonna make you proud. Welcome to Willy Wonka Day. Who's ready for story time? Oh no, no one showed up to Willy Wonka Day. She was counting on this to pay rent. No one's here, why is it empty? This was my dad's favorite day. Oh man, it must be that time of the year That's again. Right, it's time for Willy, Willy Wonka day. day. This is the biggest day of the year. This is my dad's favorite day because of all the kids that came. Why is no one at our store? Rebecca, have you seen the Dandy Bros latest Instagram? Wait, why aren't you in your Hoopa Loop outfit? Put it by the costume, will you? Wait, but this is more important. What? We're giving away $100 inside of our candy bars to celebrate Willy Wonka Day. So come on down to Candy Day. Yeah, go there! No, this has gone too far. Open a candy pop up and they hate candy, and now they're stealing my dad's Willy Wonka day and offering money. Money can't buy everything. They're about to find out. That's it. What are you gonna do? I need you to stay here. I'm gonna go talk to them. Oh no. Welcome to Dandy Candy's Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory Day. 1,000 people have won $100 inside of one of these chocolate bars. You might be next. Can I have one even though I work here? Why, of course. And thank you for giving me my job back. My pleasure. I won! You know my dad has done this for years and read books to kids and it was one of our biggest money making days and now you're stealing all of our customers? Yeah. What? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that and- You're sorry! Willy Wonka you like, are sorry! Movie. Oh, hey. was it? Hey. Was it one of your favorites? Yes, I'm sorry! Because it was my I, dad I didn't mean for the last on. 25 years and you- I'm trying to run a candy store! It's, it's a Willy Wonka Battle Royale! I'll show oh. you a candy store, you're gonna be the reason. Hey, 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 All you care about is money. Hey. We're about to lose our candy store, and now you guys keep trying to steal from us. We're just doing it better, and yeah, we're coming after your candy store. Boo hoo, sorry, daddy died, but now you gotta take over, but we got this. What? You're not taking our candy store. I made that sign. Why would you say that to her about her dad? That's kind of crossing the line. Sorry, I just got really upset at her. And why are you in outfit? You're supposed to be an Oompa Loompa. It didn't fit me. <sighs> oh, I can know what happened to you. I don't want to talk about it. Why don't you just go home? There's no one here anyways. I'll close up. You sure you're good? I'm good. Okay, see you later. Well, Dad, it looks like I messed up even your favorite day. Hey, Sweet Tooth, how was your day? Today was the worst. Same here, what happened? This annoying guy totally ruined the big event I had planned today. What a jerk. Something similar happened to me today, too. What happened? This girl came into my work and made such a big scene they had to stop my event. Total psycho. She sounds like a psycho. Running a company can be so difficult. Tell me about it. I'm just excited to finally meet you in person. Me, too. Can't wait, Sweet Tooth. See you soon, Candyman. Well, at least I have one thing to look forward to. How is ZamFam gonna win that iPhone? I can't tell you guys now what would be the fun of that, ZamFam. You're gonna have to wait until the end, but like I said, the clue is to watch very closely. All right, well, it's now time to get ready for this date. Oh, okay. yeah! You should not be worried about a date. Let's save the candy store, right? It's on the oh, I get to finally meet Candyman. Let's do this. Here we go. Welcome to Antonio's. How can I? Oh, you must be here for the private room. Oh. The date is waiting for you. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, Dave Dandy is Candyman? You know what, Dave, please, please take this. What? Dave Dandy is Candyman? I've been talking to Dave Dandy this whole time? Well, look who it is if it isn't Dave Dandy himself sitting all alone. Rebecca, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, I just thought, seat's empty. You probably got stood up by uh, someone. Funny. I was actually looking forward to connecting with somebody tonight that shared the same interest that I do of candy. Candy? Yeah, I've always loved candy. What's your favorite candy, then? Gumball. Easy gumball. answer. Gumball. Very easy and basic. What flavor? Bubble gum, probably. That's what I was asking about in the store the other day. Maybe we should order something since you're not dressed like Willy Wonka this time. You know about Willy Wonka, I'm really sorry about Oh, you're you. really sorry about that. It's just my dad's favorite day that we've done every year at our candy store and you just happen to do the exact same one. Actually, really sorry about that. Should yeah? Have done that. You know, it's kind of funny. If we didn't hate each other so much, we probably would hit it off pretty well. You know what? You're right. 
We do hate each other. I almost forgot about that. <gasps> I remember now. I can't believe that this whole time I thought I was talking to Candyman, but it's really Dave Dandy. Dave Dandy is Candyman, but I actually like Candyman. What's going on? Eviction notice? You are hereby notified that you owe past your rent and late charges. You have two days to leave the property. No! Dad! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know you told me to do whatever it takes to keep the store open, but I don't know what to do. Please give me a sign. A gumball? A gumball? I've worked with a lot of candies in my life and gumballs are probably my favorite. What's the big deal? They're hard on the outside and then soft on the inside. Kinda like your mom. She had a tough, hard exterior, but she was loving and caring on the inside. You get all that from a gumball? Yep. Dad! Dad! <gasps> Ooh, you are always there when I need you. Dad, don't scare me like that. No! Well, I couldn't save you this time, or your store. Someone else also likes a gumbo. I can't believe that Dave Dandy is the candy man. Maddie, what's wrong? The gumbo was a sign from your dad, and then my grandma loved ladybugs, so whenever I see a ladybug, I think of her. And it just reminded me of that. I see hummingbirds, I think of my grandpa. I feel like when people pass on, you see signs of them, and it's your way of remembering them, so you can't forget them. Just like ladybugs for you, okay? Yeah. Are you good right now? No, I'm good, I'm good. Go back in the program. Zamfam, if you've ever lost anyone, comment below if you ever see signs in the real world that makes you remember them. What's going on, Daniel? You need to get back in. Get back in right now, the store is closing. The clo what? Right now. It's closing, no! That's what happens when you focus in on dating, not the okay, store. Stop I can't believe that we got bought out. Wait, I thought we were just getting evicted because we didn't pay rent. Who's buying us out? No idea, it just happened. Oh my gosh, my dad, he'd be so upset right now. The last thing he wanted is someone else to take over his store. Rebecca, your phone is blowing up, so you're not gonna answer it? I didn't hear anything. Okay, it keeps going. It's Candyman. Are you gonna answer him? Nope. I thought you liked him. I thought I did too, but let's just say he wasn't who I thought he was. What does that mean? Dandy bro, not in here. Let me just eat some of my candy. Hey! Wait, this is my candy now. What do you mean it's your candy? Our dad just bought this place. This is where our new pop-up's gonna be. Or actually, I'm thinking maybe we just gut the place and use what? it for storage. I'm gonna eat the some more Dandy Bros? Hey! The Dandy Bros are taking over my dad's candy store that he spent years building? No, calm down. It's all gonna work out. Trust me. For you. To enjoy making your money and ruining mine and my family's life. <laughs> Bro, you think your dad haunts this place? What? Seriously? I don't like goats. Dad, I'm so sorry. I tried my best to keep your candy store open, but now these guys bought it, and all they care about is money. They're not passionate about candy at all, and I don't know what to do to save it. I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mary, hello? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I, I'm good. I was just talking to my dad. Well, did you hear someone bought Joey's hair salon and they're reopening it? What? How? I don't know how, but the investor wants to meet with you only. You better get to the candy store. It might be your last shot to save it. Okay, thank you. This might be my chance to save your candy store once and for all so those boys don't buy it. I gotta go. I love you. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, it's just losing someone can be so tough. I know you're going through a tough time right now, so oh. if dating's really important to you, I'll let you date, okay? Really? No, there's no way I'd do that. Ow! Come on! This looks exactly the same. What are you doing here? What do you think? I mean, it looks like my dad's candy store. Honestly, maybe a little bit better. I think it turned out pretty good. I still can't believe you guys bought this. I thought you were gonna gut it. No, that was my crazy brother. He's a little too overdramatic. Are you gonna run it the same exact way? What do you mean, am I gonna run it the same exact way? Well, I bought this, not my brother. You bought this? Mm -hmm. I invest in family businesses, just like this one, and I make sure that they stay running. Why would you do this? I bought this for my sweet tooth. What did you say? You're my sweet tooth. I saw you take off the ring at the restaurant. We might have hated each other in real life, but in the app, I gotta meet the real you. And hopefully you gotta meet the real me as well. I did. I know how much this store meant to your dad. I'll be honest, I kinda feel like he's in here with us right now. I'm a little nervous right now. Rebecca's dad, <laughs> I wanted to see if it was okay with you if I asked your daughter back out on a date. Are you good with me? 
I think he'd say yes. <laughs> I'll be waiting here all night for this. Oh my yeah, god! Man. One more baby push. Ah. It's a baby girl. Oh, we have a daughter. It's all we've ever wanted. We're gonna be a family. Are you ready to be a great dad? I'll be a great dad. But you're not gonna be my wife. You've been served divorce papers. What? I'm gonna take baby Gracie. Just a couple tests. Just a few tests. That's okay. all. Excuse wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. What? Divorce papers? But why? I can't have you in my life anymore. <laughs> What? I just gave birth and I was handed divorce papers? What kind of program is this, this is Daniel? The divorce parents lose their daughter program. In order to pass this, you gotta make sure that your daughter is successful in life. My parents are divorced. Does anyone else have divorced parents? No, no, no. Hopefully, she's so young that it won't affect her and I'll be able to go through this program really fast. Where am I going in next? Uh, and your daughter is just a few months old. Good luck. I can't believe that husband handed her divorce papers. Well, maybe there's more to the story. Maybe she did something too. No, she didn't. Hey little one, it's just me and you. I didn't think I was gonna do this alone, but. No, that is what the photo's going to look like. We can't Photoshop it anymore. I have to go, bye. I'm so sorry. Hey, no, 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 it's okay. I was just talking to her about how I thought it was gonna be two of us raising her, but now it's just mom. It's, I can't believe it. I can't believe you need to divorce yeah, I don't even know what I did. You are one of the strongest women I know. You are going to get through this. I will be there for you every step of the way. It's just, I still have to see him. He's coming today. We're sharing custody. And like, it's just so hard to like see him so, and our daughter. I don't get to keep her all the time now. So hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to take this again. This client. Thank you yeah, for being course. such a good friend. She was pregnant. Why would she want to be a single mom? I don't know. You saw his face though. Something else is going on. At least she has a best friend to help her through this. Hey, that's Cindy mommy's best friend. She's there for mommy when it's tough. It's a little tough right now for mommy because of daddy. But... I'm so sorry. Hey. This client crazy. I have to head out. No, no, no. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You're seriously the best friend ever. I couldn't do this without me. Bye. You can go see daddy for a little bit and mom's gonna miss you, but it'll be okay. Hello? Anybody here? Daddy's here. Come here, pretty girl. Here's Gracie. Hey. Thank you. Oh there. my gosh. You ready for a fun weekend? No, you only have her until this evening. What? I thought I had her the whole weekend. What? No, you definitely don't have her the whole weekend. You don't do that until six months. The court said that I get to have her on nights right now. She has a very strict night routine. You have a day date right now? A day date. Yeah, really funny. But I will be cleaning up her nursery since I'm doing it all by myself. Whoa, they're really fighting, but baby's not gonna remember that, right? It's not gonna affect her. I hope so. Babies are sponges. They remember everything. Well, I'm gonna Make sure she has the best day ever right now. Can't believe this. Not the whole weekend? No, not the whole weekend. Be safe with her. I always am, you know that. It's the best dad ever. She's throwing up on you. <sighs> What's happening? How are, you, how are you feeling? My parents got divorced. That was really hard on me. I mean, I wasn't as little as that, but now to feel it as the parents, it's just as tough for the parents. I hope that never happens to Zadie. Daniel, where am I going next? So far, the baby should be okay, right? Yeah, baby seems fine. Baby's not even in this part of the game. Looks like you're just going for a walk with your friend. I'm so happy I have a best friend in this program. She seems pretty cool. Where is she? Hey. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you for walking with me. Yeah, of course. Just have so much to get off of my chest. I just didn't realize how hard it was gonna be as a single mom. Do you know my babysitter called five minutes before I had to go to work? I had to find Gracie, another babysitter. Luckily, my mom was able to do it, but I know this sounds crazy. You're gonna kill me, but like, I kinda miss Scott. Okay, and you know what? We're not gonna talk about him today. It's a girl's day. I know we're not talking about him, but that ringtone, that is Scott's favorite song. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What if I just like ask if he wants to get back together. Okay, you know what? No, 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 Rebecca. You are a single mom. It is hard, but you can do it. You are the strongest woman I know. He divorced you. He brought you the papers. Trust me when I say that, okay? And I'm always here for you. No more Scott. No Scott. Okay. No, no Scott, Scott day. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Well, at least she is getting the support of her best friend. Speaking of support, Rebecca's goal is to hit 15 million subscribers by the end of this year, so make sure that you are subscribed right now and comment down below. Shh, it's a secret so that Rebecca won't know. And smash that thumbs up if we get 200,000 Thumbs up. I'm gonna show you my 12 pack abs. 12 pack abs? That doesn't even exist. Well, smash the thumbs up and you'll
we'll find out. Tell me about your work. It's crazy. I make my content and people just believe it. Like they can't tell the difference between real and Photoshop. That's because you are a girl boss and you're really good at your job. <laughs> Thank you, I'm trying. <laughs> that was a really fast walk. Okay, your daughter wasn't even in there. Like, I'm not sure what talking to your friend is. Well, you know what? A lot of times people need support with divorce. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. I still have to figure out how to make my child happy and successful. How is she doing in this next part? Well, it looks like you're going to a parent teacher conference and she is like a straight A student and was on the raw roll. So this should be easy. Thanks, Daniel, for the heads up. I can't wait. And she's in. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. <sighs> Hey, honey, I get to hear all about my little honor student. Where is your father right now, though? The teacher's gonna be here any second. He's here. He's just on the phone getting yelled at. What? Her. her. So I'm late, couldn't find a parking spot. Hey, Gracie, I'm gonna talk to your dad for one second. I see you to show up. Hey, you look nice today. Thank you. Gracie mentioned that she had a lot of fun with you last weekend. What did you guys do? Took her to the park. Oh, like where we used to do picnics? Yeah, it's her, her favorite spot now. It might be fun for us to do a little picnic, but bring her into it. Just something casual. But I think she'd really enjoy that. How cute. Do you think they're getting back together? Do you remember that one time when we got ice cream? All right, we're ready for you. Follow me this way. Gracie, you can stay here. We'll be back. I'm gonna get grounded. Have a seat, please. Thank you for coming and talking with me in my office. Yes, we're very excited. I know that she's on honor roll. You probably want her to skip a grade, but I personally feel like it would be best for her to just stay where she is. How's our little superstar doing? I'm very concerned about Gracie. She's been missing assignments. She's not paying attention in class. Oh no, their daughter's not doing well in school. How's she gonna become successful? Has there been a change at home? Anything that has disrupted her routine that could account for this? That's a weird question to ask. No, I mean, I mean, she's with me most of the time and then she gets to see her dad every other weekend just like it's always been. Yeah, what if somebody new is in the picture? No, I no, no, no. A new person I, could I disrupt not, her. I, I am not dating right now. I'm sorry, this is none of your business, but I am not dating. My focus is 100% Gracie. I mean, I don't want to pry, but a new person in her life might have disrupted something. So if that is the case, maybe that's something you need to address with Gracie. No, there hasn't. There must be some other explanation. We just need to talk to her. What do we do next? Well, you need to talk with Gracie, let her know how serious this is, and we need to get her back on course. We have a plan set, so let's just put that in place. Thank you for letting us Thank know. Thank you for coming in. I have no idea. No, I didn't know about this. Yeah. Obviously, I have no idea. About this too. Gracie, we just spoke to your teacher, and we found out that you have not been turning in assignments, that you have been messing around in class. What is going on with you? Sorry is not good enough. I need an explanation and until then, no more tablet, no more iPad, okay, okay, no okay. more watching anything, a little too no more right robots. This is elementary school, are you kidding me? You know what, this is the problem. When she goes with you, she stays up late, has all this candy. I mean, that's probably it's the why weekend. she's- It's the No, they're fighting again. They're definitely not getting back together. Gracie, can you please tell your father that your mother is not dating anyone, that her whole focus is on you. Wait, do you see that? The what? dad just shushed the daughter. Why would he do that? Is he hiding his secrets in fam? I didn't see that, comment down below. Did you guys see that? Mom doesn't have a boyfriend. Well, so you can take now. the blame off of me because that has been cleared up. Are you, you know kidding me? What? The blame off of you? Of course off of me. Five you know out of seven days she's been You know what? You're I have the no one. idea what's happening. You give her the Stop trading! I'm gonna go take care of her. You just, I don't know, do whatever you do the rest of the time. I wanna apologize for your dad and I arguing earlier. That was inappropriate and we should not be arguing in front of you. Why do you guys fight so much? Before you were born, we got along so well. I thought he was my soulmate, but one day it was like a switch flipped and ever since then it just, you know what honey, some things just weren't meant to work out. The divorce had nothing to do with you. It's just sometimes people work good as a team and then they don't anymore. It really just has to do with the two of them. But regardless, you have to promise me that you're gonna fix those grades, okay? You are an honorable student. I know that you can do better. There is something I have to tell you. Well, what is it? Dad has a girlfriend. What? There is a girlfriend! Thank you for telling me. I appreciate it. She's handling it pretty well, though. Have you met her? No, but she doesn't seem really nice. They're always yelling at each other on the phone. Oh, I'm sure that it's not serious, and if it was, then he would introduce you to her, and it's not there yet, because you haven't met her, so I'm sure it's just a thing you have nothing to worry about. Thank you for letting me know. Get your hands dry under the light, okay? Right over there. A girlfriend? <laughs> He's seen another girl! Oh, 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 oh
It's not him. Sorry. It's a program. Sorry, yeah, it's a program. <laughs> yeah, FYI, I'm not seeing anybody. But do you realize that that could be the reason that my daughter is not happy and successful and that's what I need to complete the program? For a kid, it can be really hard when someone brings in a new person into their life, whether it's a girlfriend or a boyfriend, okay? None of you have dealt with divorced parents before, have you? No. Sometimes kids act out because they don't know how to express it. Adults too. Anyways, where am I going next? Okay. I need to make my daughter successful. She's a bit older now, and it's an Alice in Wonderland birthday party. That's Thank cool. God. Here we go, three, two, one. Dad better redeem himself. Ooh, Gracie is gonna love this cake. Oh my goodness, Mom, thank you so much. This is the best birthday ever. Everyone's having so much oh. fun outside. Oh, you are very welcome, honey. I know that you love Alice in Wonderland, so you're gonna love this cake too. Your favorite strawberry with cream on the inside. It's gonna be so good. And we should get ready soon to call your friends back in for the dessert so we can sing happy birthday. Do you know when Dad's gonna be here? Your dad's coming? Yeah, and he's bringing his new girlfriend too. The girlfriend's coming to the the party? We get to see who she is. How do you think Rebecca's gonna handle it? Your dad has a girlfriend? Batman. The dad came in as Batman? Rushing it. It's not even the theme of the party. It still looks cool. Oh my god, dad, you're the best. This is so cool. Happy birthday, honey. It's yours to keep. He's giving her an e-bike. What a great gift. I don't think that our daughter should be driving an electric bike quite yet, and we probably should have discussed this, you know, as parents co-parenting. It's not safe. It's not safe. Right, let's take it for a spin. No, no, no. Stay in the front and Ugh. don't go on it to it. Really? Yeah. You do it like this. Oh yeah. Come on, honey. Mom, this is the best birthday gift ever. Yeah, your dad knows how to pick the gifts. Have fun. I should make sure she's okay. Let me show you the action. Kick that up right there, and once again, never use the brakes. You just go. You just go. I cannot believe that he got her an electric bike. That clearly is something she should not be riding right now. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. he's so frustrating. But he kind of looks cute. No, 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 he doesn't. Besides, he has a girlfriend now, and she's gonna be coming, even though I had no idea. Never use the brake. It's actually how I got the flowers in this thing. You wanna try it for a spin? Mm hmm. There you go. Hey, Dad, who's Catwoman? That's your dad's new girlfriend. Look, there's the girlfriend. Oh my gosh, she is Catwoman. But who is she? She dressed up as Catwoman? To a kid's birthday party? Ew. It's so nice to meet you. I can just tell we're gonna be best friends. Ugh, don't talk to my daughter. Nice to meet you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm gonna go check on my friends. I'm gonna tell them Batman and Catwoman's here. Hey. Oh no, my daughter's coming. I gotta play it cool. Hey, honey, just making sure everything's good. <laughs> See, honey, I told you she'd love me. Everything's gonna be fine. She thinks my daughter likes her. My daughter doesn't even know her. Time for a kiss. I can't watch this. Why would he be into someone like that? It makes no sense. Rebecca looks jealous. Oh, she can't see this. I'm pulling her out. I can't watch this. I can't watch this. <laughs> Why did you pull me out? I wanted a face reveal. Who is that girlfriend? Rebecca Why? kiss. You're gonna watch your husband kiss or your ex-husband, I guess? I just wanna see who it is. Why would he divorce me for that? I don't know. I mean, yeah. hey, that's the point of this, maybe. You gotta find out who this girlfriend yeah, is. No one's attracted to Catwoman. It kinda seemed like my daughter liked her. No, no, well, I don't just think met so. for the first time. Hey, come yeah. on, you're the mom. You always have a special bond with your daughter. What if she likes this new girlfriend more than me? I'm her mom. No way, I don't believe that. Yeah. You got it, Beck. Okay. You're the mom. You're, you're the, the mom. mom. You're the mom. Put her in there, Daniel! Where's she going? This looks like it just happened right after the birthday. She's just having dinner. This looks really good. Where's mom? <laughs> How was the weekend with your father? It was good. Did you do anything fun? Not really, we just hung out at home. Oh, who'd you hang out with? Dad, his new girlfriend, and the dog. He's like, dog? Your father would never take care of the dog. It was the girlfriend's idea. That was it. The lady that is with your father. She's kind of two-faced. She's actually really bossy towards dad. The girlfriend's two-faced? And bossy. Maybe she's not good for him. We obviously know this girl's not gonna be like a stepmom or anything. It's probably just like the flavor of the month. <laughs> she does do something nice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she does. She helps me edit my pictures for Instagram. That's sweet. That doesn't mean she's a good person, though. It's not like your dad's gonna like marry someone like that. So I'm just telling you, honey, I just don't want you to get attached, okay? You've got me. You only need one mom. You know they're going on a date tomorrow? What? It's a picnic though. He better not be taking her to the park that we went for. All of our picnics, that would be just weird. But he did say it was at Blue Ridge Park. What? Where's mom go? 
Wow. Who's back there? Why are you doing that? I cannot believe that my ex would take his current girlfriend to our spot. That was our spot. So what are you going to do? I don't know, Daniel. Tell me what's next in the program. I know what I want to do. You're actually going to go spy on them at the park. Perfect. Hopefully so now. So just kind of keep it together. Okay. You got to set a good example for your daughter, right? Like the focus is the daughter. You got to make her yeah. successful. Well, whatever I find out, I'm just glad I have a best friend to talk to about this in this program. Yep. Good luck. She in? She's in. She's in. You're safe. Thank goodness. I cannot believe he is taking her on a picnic here. This is our spot. This is where we went. There's the date. Still can't see who the girlfriend is. Relax, we're divorced. I have to deal with this. But still, who is this girl? Isn't it so nice out here? No, it's freezing and it's so windy. That's why I have to wear your stupid jacket instead of my beautiful sundress. She's not very nice at all. That's the jacket I gave him on our one year anniversary. Well, do you want to have some food? Or? You know I only eat vegan. Is there any vegan stuff here? Not really except for the grapes. Ugh, that doesn't count. His girlfriend seems so mean. Why would he want to be with someone like that? Why did you take me to this park? You asked me to bring you to this park. Face reveal, here it comes! Oh. This is the worst. Here, take your stupid jacket back. <gasps> Cindy! Oh no! my gosh! I'm out of here. What? Her ex-husband is dating her best friend? That's it. Scott! Cindy! How could you? You're not together anymore. What? All the things what? that I told you about him, you went and did that? Why would you go after my best friend? There's literally a million other girls that you could date. Out of all okay, of the okay, girls, well, stop, 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 stop here. You have no right to say anything right now. Oh, really? I don't. She's my best friend. Not like you I couldn't cheated. have maybe looked somewhere else. At least I waited until after we were divorced. What is that supposed to mean? Just read between the lines. What is that supposed to mean? You read know, between yeah, the lines. At least I waited until you were you divorced. Know, oh, waited right until yeah, I was what? divorced. Exactly. You know what? We were on a nice date. You can't help it that he upgraded. I, I. Oh. Oh. You kidding me? I think it's best that you leave. Let's get out of here. I can't believe you would do this to me. You were my best friend. You okay? Yeah. Can't believe you let a crazy mom like that raise your kid. What did you say? Oh, do you want me to say? Ah! Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 How did that happen? That's my ex-husband. I trusted her. I confided in her about everything. I can't believe she did that to you. How is my daughter going to feel? How am I supposed to make sure my daughter is successful when I have to deal with that? Zamfam, have you ever had a best friend betray you? I just can't believe she would go that far. That's so low. How am I supposed to make my daughter happy if I'm not even happy myself? She doesn't look very happy right now. What? You better get in there. How old is she? Teenager now. What? Three. Oh, no. Gracie! Oh, Gracie. What? She's goth? Oh, she's a cute goth. Daniel, focus here. Okay, okay. You're so gothic these days. I've dressed like this for years. Oh, wanted to see if you wanted to have a movie night with your mama? No, I'm going to Lookout Point with Slug. Slug? Who's Slug? My boyfriend. Lookout Point is a no-go. That is not safe. I'm sorry, you are too young. Cindy said I could go. Cindy? Cindy's not even your real mom. There is no way you're going sorry. She said dad said I could go too. Gracie, please do not go to Lookout Point. I'm going to be worried about you. Slug's here. Hey, Slug. What's up? Look at that idiot. Who's Slug? <laughs> Cute. You ready to go? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, is this your sister? That's no. my mom. Hey, mom. Bye, mom. Be safe, okay? Call me when you get there. Drive slow. You're not on a motorcycle, are you? Three wheelers. Three wheelers. I'm not stressed at all. My daughter's going to look out point with a guy named Slug. Movie night for one tonight, so I'll make the popcorn. I'll get the drinks too. What about the candy? Yeah, I'll grab the candy. <laughs> How sad is that her ex has a girlfriend and she's all alone? I just wish the parents would get back together. I'm mad. He's taken. He's got a girlfriend. We need to focus on the daughter. Make her successful. <laughs> Hello? What? Is she okay? I'm coming now. I'm coming now. Gracie! Gracie! What, what happened? What's the matter? Gracie! Doctor, is she gonna be okay? She was in a pretty bad car accident. She's in a coma. She hasn't woken up yet, but we're hopeful. We're gonna continue running tests. I'll let you know. Is her daughter gonna die? I need to check to see if it's a birth to death program. I'm so sorry, Can Gracie. Susan, is she okay? Get away! This is all Cindy's fault. She's the one who told her to go to lookout point when I knew it 
was dangerous. She told me she never said that. Oh, really? Well, I trust our daughter who said that she said that. Well, I trust Cindy because she's never lied to me. She told me the truth about you. Oh, really? What did Cindy, my ex-best friend, say about me? Oh, hi. What's going on? I need to tell you something. I'm Rebecca's best friend, but I have to let you know that she's been cheating on you. There's no way. She's pregnant right now. She could be giving birth today. I have the receipts. I can show you. I, you know, I won't believe it until I actually see it. Okay, well, you might be wanting these. What are these? Divorce papers. Why would I need this? Listen, I can give you proof, but I just need to tell you the truth of what's really going on with Rebecca, on, okay? On. Hello? I'll be right there. She's having the baby. I gotta go. She told you that I was cheating on you? Yeah, we met and then later she showed me proof. You really think that I would have cheated on you? Yeah. You are the love of my life. It says it right there. The neck doesn't even match. It's Photoshop. Cindy is a graphic designer. The best friend was framing her all along. She's the reason for the divorce? It's 100% the girlfriend's fault. No, it's not all her fault. I mean, who would believe that Photoshop photo? Pretty bad. So Cindy did all of this. She broke up our family. So many moments we lost with her daughter and us is it. Family. I'm sorry. I don't know how it got this far. <coughs> Gracie, she's waking up. Gracie, hey. you okay? Yeah. You okay? We're here. We're here. We're how here. How do you feel? Mom, Dad, you both are here, and you're not fighting. I'm not fighting anymore. All those years we spent apart, it was because she framed me. Your best friend. I can't believe she did. Obviously, that. she's not a best friend. And her wicked Photoshop ways. I just don't know where we go from here. I feel like in the program I still have feelings for him, but I don't know what's gonna happen, Daniel. And you still have to make sure that your daughter's a success too. This program's not over. At least she's alive right now. That's a big step. Where are we going? I can't really see after it. You just have to go in and find out. Oh, please be good. Please be good. Rebecca, sit down. What? Give me a speech. Oh, hey. Come here. Sit down. Next to me. Oh, yeah. Your daughter's graduating. It's your graduation. Does that mean the daughter is successful? She's a valedictorian. This is great. It wasn't always the easiest journey to get here, but what I did learn is that you have to trust the process and what's meant to be will be. And the biggest thing that helped me was the love and support of family, whether together or separate, it didn't matter. It's the love that got me through everything. So thank you, mom and dad. So where's Cindy? We broke up. Why'd you break up? She wasn't my person. And I've also learned that over time, the truth will always prevail. Woo, that's our daughter! You just did it. <laughs> and as the father of the valid Victorian, Victorian, I'd like to announce you the class of 2022. You've graduated. Oh, thank you. I'm so proud of you, honey. You did Thanks, it. Mom. Finally, you graduated Thanks. and you got through your face. I couldn't be more proud of you today. Thank you. Your mom and I both are super happy for you. Very proud. And mm -hmm. since I have the two people that I love most in the world, I thought this would be a great time to ask you something again. What? Rebecca? Oh, what is he doing? Oh, Gracie. No, thank you. I know you wore our ring that whole time. You never gave up on us. I wanted to ask you again, <sighs> will you marry me? Really? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes! Oh. <laughs> What? Are we a family now? <laughs> I'm glad we're all together again. Why? Why did you pull her out? There's another level after this. I just gotta talk to you guys about it. Like, I don't guys, understand. I'm engaged. You're engaged. The daughter seems successful, but I don't know if she's truly happy. What? Well, that might be the last level. You gotta find out if she's truly happy. Sam Bam, smash a thumbs up if you think the daughter is happy. What do you think's gonna happen at this last level? I don't know, but it looks like the same spot where you got into that fight with the best friend. Well, if it's the end, there must be something important. Good luck in there. Daniel, did the best friend just come back? Does this gonna be drama? Oh no. So his dad walked into a bar. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, sir. Right. I'm just so happy that you guys are back together. Aww. It's going pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, you think so? I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Okay, well, I would like to say I'm just happy that you outgrew the goth phase. We don't have to talk have to about my goth phase. You gotta tell me something about this goth phase. <laughs> no, 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 no. You try and let me see pictures. I'm not talking about the goth You're not dating Slug anymore. Slug? What? Slug? That was his name. Oh, what's your name again? No, it's Doug. Oh, okay. okay. Different. Way better. Anyways, yeah. you guys are probably wondering why we're here at the picnic. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we love the park. That's what we're here. Right? Yeah, we actually Dumb. have some exciting news. We're engaged. Yes. What? Oh my gosh! My daughter's getting married. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. She is happy. Okay. You no know way. You're out of there. Oh my gosh! We were divorced parents. We were still able to make sure our daughter was happy and successful. And in the end, we got back together. Zampam, this program was tough, but you know what? After coming from divorced parents, it's nice to know that the kids can still turn out happy and successful.